It's the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11th. The number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now... He's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. Jackson looking to throw right away. And his first pass is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, it will execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Jackson options out left. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't hurt too well. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to lead to a third and I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Marvin Mims deep for Denver. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So now here are the Broncos for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, the fifth-year Auburn alum got his first career starts last season. Here's Jared Stidham. For a brief time, he was thought to be a possible successor to Tom Brady while he was still in New England, but that didn't materialize. But opportunity may still knock for him to start the NFL today. Definitely has the arm and mobility to make plays against NFL defenses. All he needs now is consistency. Tackle there by Michael Pierce. Here's a second and eight. Here's Stidham to throw. at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. 
They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Jackson's throw pulled in by Aguilar. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on Sean Payton not liking that last call. He's going to go ahead and challenge it. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Jackson, not first down. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Jackson. Finds his man over the middle. It's likely. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the four, it's second and a couple. And Jackson throwing once more. This is caught. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. It's now a 7 0 game. Just a four play drive that time. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Lightweight. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25 yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive. Still throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Stidham, third down from the gun. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Trappin. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And already down 7 to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. They'll throw on first down with Stidham. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And one of the linemen on the other side is Gallo. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Away into the icy winter air. 
Let's take it inside his own 40. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens and Lamar Jackson about ready to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. They go play action with Jackson. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. At that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. From the gun, it's Jackson. They shake some balls. combined for their team's first sack of the game. I don't know what you were seeing on that play, but it felt to me like I wasn't watching a football field. I was watching a boxing ring. Watching when he was bobbing and weaving and trying to make sure he kept the play alive. Just didn't turn out well for him in the end. Dude. Impressive that he stayed in the pocket while avoiding those couple of would-be tackles, but eventually goes down. Despite a pickup of 16, they're still well short of the sticks on fours. I don't know how many times... Not just in my playing career, but you and I working together. Have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. They start the drive on the ground. priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of them first. Now it's Stidham. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing and they shut that one down with a little gain. Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is a throw well is complete on the diving effort. The Brown starting play again with a Stidham. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Here's Stidham. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat. Has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that to the little steam. And it's going to be ripped. And Tyler Fickler runs out. He can't get rid of the football. He's taken down. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. Just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now Stidham. His throw incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now it's Stidham. Certainly not in their favor here. Final 24 seconds in the first half as they come up here first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Now it's second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando 